Today we are going to show you how to install the Classic Railing System by ColorGuard. The Classic Railing System comes fully boxed and includes top and bottom rails with aluminum inserts, balusters, installation hardware, and brackets. Kits are available in widths of 4 to 10 feet and heights of 36 or 42 inches. We currently offer two versions of our Classic Straight Rail Kits. The Dash H kits are sold in our northern regions and allow for a 4 inch clearance beneath the bottom rail. Our Dash 2H kits are sold in the south and allow for a 2 inch clearance beneath the bottom rail. Both options allow for the correct rail height of 36 or 42 inches. Before you install the classic railing system, you will need safety glasses, a pencil, tape measure, drill with Phillips head and number 2 square bits, power miter saw, and a speed square. Pro tip! We recommend cutting several spacers to assist with installation. 4 inch spacers for the Dash H kit and 2 inch for the Dash 2H kits. You can use a scrap piece of 2x4 to make the blocks. Also, cut a 3 inch scrap piece of baluster. You'll see why in a minute. The classic railing system is installed between two posts sleeve or load bearing, or directly into a wall with proper reinforcement. Once your posts are in place, start by laying the bottom rail out. Working from the outside in, measure between the post sleeve and the outside edge of the first hole on the other side. Make sure distance is equal on both sides. Once you find measurements, mark rail for cuts. Take your spare piece of baluster and insert it into the middle pre-rotted hole then place the top rail on. This ensures both pieces are cut to the same length and the holes will match. Make your cuts using a miter saw. We recommend using a 10 inch 82 carbide blade. When making the second cut, pull the aluminum insert out about a quarter of an inch. This will cut the aluminum insert slightly shorter than the vinyl extrusion and will reduce the chance of the aluminum scratching the post during installation. To install, work from the bottom up. Place spacer blocks between the two posts. For a five foot or longer rail, we would install the support block brace and the support block in the exact center of the rail section. Slip the bottom brackets over both ends of the bottom rail. Place the bottom rail on top of the spacers and attach using the included screws. Keep in mind that the screws go in on an angle, so you will need to position the brackets closer towards the edge of the post to compensate. Pro tip! We do not recommend using a hammer drill or overdriving the screws. This will potentially cup the brackets. Instead, gently snug the brackets tight to the post sleeve. If using the Color Guard steel post brackets, it's best practice to put the screw in until you hit the filler. Back it up a bit, then go forward until it snugs the bracket. This will prevent deformation of your post sleeve. Add your balusters. For rails longer than 5 feet, the locking baluster should be placed near the center of the rail section. This added safety feature prevents the top and bottom rail from being separated if pulled on or climbed upon. Install the top rail. Place brackets over each end, then slide the balusters into the top rail. Make sure they are installed all the way before moving the top rail into place. Make sure it is level, then attach the fasteners. Add the self-driving rail screw with hinge caps, then snap them to conceal the screws. Add bracket covers to hide the screws and give it a nice finished look. Install the post caps and you're done! Thank you for watching. For more information on Color Guard railing systems, including product information, options and accessories, installation instructions, and inspirational ideas, please visit us at colorguardrailing.com.